Brisbane Yamaha nose boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today I've got another yellow fin. It's a 700 Southerner. Now, what happens with the Southerner? A little bit longer cabin, just for a bit more protection. Now, the 700, this one's got a 225 Yamaha. We did one just recently on a, with a 200, which I thought was a bit of a, a, a weapon. 225, this thing's gonna fly. Now, this is a sole boat to the Moors. The Moors have had lots of boats. They actually come out of a 480 top ender with a 100 Yamaha. Probably drives a HSV. You know, a bit of a speed freak. Now, let's have a really close look because we're gonna get in the water straight away. Catch and release once again, aluminium trailer. We've got that great six mil 5083 hull, longitudinal stringers. This is a true hardcore plate boat. You'll never break it if you tried. You could hit it with a ball peen hammer. Now, come back here. We've got a 12 inch Lowrance sounder in it. We've put, a, we've put a, one of our Brisbane Yamaha, famous for our trim shop. You know, we've put a big storm cover on this to be sit back because it's going up to Mackay. It's got those great clip away rod holders. We've got a radio in it. We've got a 6YC. And of course, like I said, 225. Let's go and see what this thing's going to do. Unfortunately, it's a beautiful day in Queensland and we don't have two and a half to four metres of chop that I could show what this boat's going to do. But what do we got? We've got the 700 Southerner. Yeah, this is a sole boat, the Moors bought it, and it's got maximum horsepower of the 225. Now yeah, we've got uh, five, five people on board, so let's just see if that drone can keep up with us and see that hull working with those longitudinal stringers for rigidity and a six mil hull. This thing is a seriously, seriously a nice boat. Have a look at it from the drone. Let's go dry. Everyone holding on? Now with any of these 225s, you need to hold on because they have some serious grunt out of the hole. Give it to it a bit. Well, okay. Within a second, you're up on the plane. And geez, that Yamaha, they sound nice, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Look, the boat's riding. Joy, one of our one of our head mechanics. Joy's been did his apprenticeship with us and everything, and still there. Got offered to run off to the mines, and he said, "No, I'd rather stay." Look, it's purring along. Five six. We've got it a bit trimmed. We can put the nose up. Oh, I wouldn't go the nose up. I like to have the nose down on these. Just gives better stability, and I find that it. In any sort of sea, it's nice. Now, Dan, try, do a little bit of circle work and just see. Now, a boat of this size, you don't want to throw into hard corners at 70 kilometres an hour, because this thing will do 75. We were just doing 73 then. We're doing 4.7. Now, at 4.7, we're doing 61 kilometres an hour. We're using 60 litres. Now, that's about a dollar a litre. But 63 kilometres an hour, you're travelling some distance. You, well, let's face it, you'll be out to the Barwood Banks in 40 minutes, and it'll cost you 40 litres, two jerry cans. Not bad going. Now, hopefully that drone's picking up the circle. It's quite stable, and it would be without any, any waves. Try and hit those, slice straight through that. Look at that. Nothing. Try and work up some more waves, Joy, to show how this hull, this stuff's not going to do anything. You could sit here and eat a ham and pickle sandwich and my wife will be drinking Chardonnay. Let's see, see how it goes off, Joy. It'll probably cavitate in a tight corner like that, like they would. Trim down. Well, it's sitting into the water, it's not slipping, it's not cavitating, and hopefully that drone can see. Oh, that's quite a tight turtle. Water it's going too, that's good. Stable. I'm hanging on and 
you know, a quarter of a metre of chop is not going to do anything to a boat like this. That's 68 kilometres you're doing there. It's always hard because, see, at the moment, I feel like I'm doing about 40. Yeah. You know? It's so comfortable. Well, that, and that's 70k an hour yeah, we're doing exactly. right now. And that, have a look, I'm just sitting back here, I'm looking at the drone, I'm seeing the wake. There's something about the way the water comes out of the back of the boat, and the way this wake's coming out of this yellow fin just makes me feel like going and fishing. You know, oh, Craig's got up at there. Hear that, Yamaha, I'll try and get some voice. Wow. I tell you, that's why people buy Yamaha. Quiet, performance, reliability. And if you put it with a yellow fin, You'll never want another boat. <coughs> Your mates will hate you. The women will buy you. This is dead set a trophy boat. And if you're thinking about buying a yellowfin, if you're thinking about buying any plate boat, especially one of those other things we like to talk about, you call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. We'll take you out in the water. And I bet you'll buy a yellowfin too when you compare. And we'll see you on the water. Hopefully in one of our boats!